There are likely several thousand hours of video here between Diddy and Epstein. I believe that one reason Sakala is getting so much support is because Epstein's client list will be made public if Trump wins. Yes, and some of the millionaires who are supporting Kamala are scared that will happen. Elon Musk is known for making bold claims, but he's taken things to a whole new level by revealing shocking information about the high-class people who hang out at Diddy's famous parties. There have been stories about these gatherings for a long time, about everything from fancy shows to controversial meetings. The secrets are now being told by Musk. He is focusing more on shady actions of celebrities, but he has also been going after other CEOs of big companies. What changes about the story because of their ties to Diddy? With Musk's shocking revelations, the world of star parties is no longer as glamorous as it used to be, and the truth behind these illicit get-togethers is scarier than anyone thought. Stay tuned as we find out the shocking information Musk is willing to share. Musk's attacks on Diddy and his friends Elon Musk's surprising participation in the growing scandal involving Sean Diddy Combs is making waves in both Hollywood and Silicon Valley. New information suggests that Musk may know about Diddy's ongoing legal problems and may have access to sensitive information about the elite groups that are tied to both men. What at first seemed like a short comment from Musk has caused a lot of speculation because he seemed to imply that he might release footage supposedly involving famous people. Musk said in a tweet that quickly went popular that there might be thousands of hours of footage linking both Diddy and Jeffrey Epstein to crimes. The statement caused shockwaves on social media as people tried to figure out what it meant. After Musk's comment, there were a lot of theories about hidden connections between important people. This was more than just a jab. Musk raised more questions about the secret actions of powerful groups by linking Diddy to Epstein's network. Musk has even named 13 famous people, some of whom are politicians, that he thinks might be on Diddy's supposed freak-off tapes. Musk's words bring more attention to his relationship with Diddy, especially since Diddy is said to have invested in Musk's purchase of X, which used to be Twitter. This connection has made people wonder how much Musk might have known about Diddy's alleged actions. In a very vague remark, Musk suggested a connection between Epstein's network and well-known politicians, even bringing up the idea of a connection with Kamala's puppet masters. No matter if Musk's words are based on private information or are meant to be a warning, they imply that secrets in these exclusive groups may not be kept for much longer. Concerns about responsibility are shown by the fact that people connected to Jeffrey Epstein have not been punished. Musk has directly asked why so few of Epstein's contacts have been punished, especially since new and troubling claims keep coming out. His criticism is more pointed when he compares it to how quickly people who were involved in the Capitol riots on January 6 were punished by the law. Some people think that Musk's recent comments about Diddy and Epstein could be a way for him to separate himself from a friend who is facing more serious legal problems. Diddy's ties to important people in the music business are getting more attention because of Musk's comments, which make people wonder what he might know about Diddy's alleged activities who became a billionaire through strategic relationships and built a huge network that includes people in tech, drinks, sports, and other areas. His impact is shown by the fact that he is friends with famous people like Mark Wahlberg and Ron Burkle. Diddy and Wahlberg both put money into Aquahydrate, a brand of alkaline water that became famous in the health and wellness market. Working with Burkle, a famous investor with ties to tech and media, gave him more access to high-level financial groups. Although Burkle is said to have ties to Epstein, this has put a shadow over these partnerships and made people look more closely at Diddy's network. Bill Lauder, heir to the SD Lauder wealth and a friend of Diddy's, is a key figure in growing Diddy's Sean John clothing line. He's aggressive and doesn't mind taking risks. He sent Mark Cuban, the owner of the Dallas Mavericks and a billionaire, an email out of the blue to make a pitch for new outfits. Cuban agreed without even meeting him, and Diddy's team quickly gave the NBA team a style that looked great. This fearless, Hands-on approach shows how Diddy is always looking for chances, which is a big part of his meteoric rise in the business world. People were shocked when Elon Musk and Sean Diddy Combs were seen together at a Dave Chappelle show in May 2022. Photos of the two sitting next to each other went viral on social media, which led to talk about their ties in high-class groups. Many saw this as a symbolic meeting of the tech and entertainment worlds, even though it looked like a normal social event for important people. This was especially true since both men were dealing with public scandals at the time. When Musk and Chappelle walked on stage together, it was a surprise. They were probably looking forward to a funny introduction. There was a wave of boos from the crowd instead. Chappelle tried to ease the stress by making a joke about Twitter firing people. But the negative reaction from the crowd stayed, leaving an awkward attitude that was hard to get rid of. After the speech, Musk posted that the audience's response was 90% cheers and 10% boos. However, video clips showed that the majority of the audience's response was negative. This event showed how controversial Musk is, which is a result of his deeds. 
since he took over Twitter and made his political views known. Besides the stage disaster, a lot of people were interested in Musk's relationship with Diddy, especially since the music mogul is in a lot of legal trouble. Some people asked Musk if he knew all of the accusations against Diddy. Others pointed out the difference between Musk's calls for honesty and openness and his friendship with a person who is being investigated. Others talked about what might happen to Musk's image, saying that going to a public event with Diddy didn't mean that he endorsed her. Musk has called Diddy a good friend in the past, mentioning that they talk a lot and even have some business interests in common. The media's coverage of this connection has only made people more interested, as both guys are becoming more and more closely watched by the public. A lot of people are interested in the financial links between Elon Musk and Sean Diddy Combs, especially since Musk is trying to publicly distance himself from Diddy as his legal problems get worse. People started to wonder how close they really were after Diddy was said to have invested in Musk's purchase of Twitter Now X. This was especially true since they kept showing up together at high-profile events like the 2022 Dave Chappelle show. Musk's friendship with Diddy seemed to go against what he says about some elite habits, which made people wonder how the business mogul chooses his friends and allies. Since Diddy was arrested not long ago, Musk's attempts to separate himself have only drawn more attention to him. People aren't sure if Musk really didn't know about the accusations or if he just didn't care because of their business and personal relationship. As things go on with Diddy, Musk is in a tough spot. Given how their social and business networks are connected, should he break up with her or keep the relationship going? Any new information about their relationship could have a big effect on Musk's public image. His fame has grown beyond the music world thanks to Kamala Harris and William Lauder. He is now known in high-class business and social groups. Working with others, like when he started Aquahydrate with Mark Wahlberg, made Diddy look like a serious investment. But Wahlberg's quiet since Diddy got into trouble with the law has made some people think he might be trying to control his image to avoid being linked to Diddy anymore. He put more than $100 million into Diddy's Sean John clothing line and has been known for a long time to back Diddy's business. It is said that Burkle's impact helped Diddy get into high-class financial circles, which helped him stay successful during tough times. Diddy has also been linked to David Jeffen, who is a big deal in the film business. Photos of the two at high-profile events have come up again leading to rumors that Jeffen may have given Diddy advice on how to build his media brand, especially with Revolt TV. Some forums say Jeffen's deep knowledge of media and entertainment could have given Diddy a strategic edge in getting into elite networks and growing his influence. Also, billionaire Jeff Bezos has been seen hanging out with Diddy at private events, which has led to reports about possible work together. Many people think that Bezos, who has experience with digital media through Amazon Studios, could help Diddy with his plans to grow. Some people even think that Revolt TV might one day join forces with Amazon Studios, bringing together Bezos' interests in entertainment and Diddy's goals for his media career. NBA star Kevin Durant is another important person in Diddy's group whose business ties with the music mogul have caused some people to raise an eyebrow. They both put money into a new electric boat company, but Durant hasn't said anything since Diddy's legal problems came to light. There is a lot of room for speculation among Durant's fans. Some think he may be quietly pulling away, while others think his engagement points to bigger plans in both tech and sports. Has also been seen at foreign events with Diddy, which made people online wonder if there was a secret plan behind their friendship. People think that they might be interested in working together on high-end events, hospitality, or even music gatherings, since Branson is known for taking on big projects. Effects of the Diddy connection these ties make people wonder how the public might view his partnerships in the future. People like Musk used to talk a lot about their friendship, but now they've taken a step back. Musk used to be very proud of Diddy, but he recently shared a story on X about the mobile's legal problems, which could mean that things are changing. As more people look into Diddy's reputation, the way his powerful peers react could change his standing in elite groups, and it could also change Musk's. Many questions have been raised since Elon Musk agreed to take Diddy's $10 million investment in his purchase of Twitter. Many people are now wondering if Musk knew about Diddy's alleged wrongdoing when they made the business deal. Some critics point out that Musk's dedication to honesty and openness makes it seem like he should have talked about the claims against Diddy in public. As more information about the accusations comes out, some critics say Musk's decision to take so long to condemn Diddy could hurt his reputation, especially since he tries to be moral in the tech business. The media has been focusing more and more on the difference between Musk's early praise of Diddy as an investor and friend and his later attempts to distance himself as crises spread. Even though Musk is good at managing public opinion, it has been hard to cut him off from Diddy because of how serious the charges are. There may not be any financial consequences yet, but there is a big chance that the image will be hurt for a long time. As Diddy's legal problems get worse, Musk may feel more and more pressure to cut ties with his old friend for good. 
has shown how much attention Musk is under. After Diddy was arrested, Musk sent out a sarcastic tweet asking how much the entertainment industry knew about the claims. This tweet was criticized because many people thought Musk couldn't really say he didn't know about Diddy's problems. When Musk used X, which used to be Twitter, to talk about it, it made the lines between his personal and business lives less clear. As his tweet got even more negative responses from both fans and famous people. This controversy, along with Musk's own erratic political views and comments, has made it harder for people to trust him. Reports say that Musk's actions are already hurting Tesla's image. The media's continued focus on his relationship with Diddy raises the stakes for Musk, who may have to make tough choices to protect his legacy. Elon Musk is getting more attention because of how his personal problems and work relationships are linked. People are becoming more and more critical of his relationships, investments, and public statements. While Diddy is facing instant legal problems, Musk faces a more subtle but powerful risk the public's loss of trust in him. If Musk can't answer the public's worries in a clear way, this controversy could have long-lasting effects on him. There is still a lot of talk about whether this connection could forever change Musk's image, especially for his companies Tesla and X. Celebrities at Diddy's parties while Musk is being questioned, new video footage of Diddy, Jaden Smith, and others has sparked more online debate. A video from years ago that has been found again shows Diddy giving a young Justin Bieber one of his fancy cars. This action has caused people to wonder about their relationship during Bieber's early career. This event has led to more rumors about Diddy's relationships with young people. For example, a recent video of Jaden Smith looking upset led to reports that it was related to something that happened at one of Diddy's parties in the past. A post on social media made this idea stronger by saying that Jaden had been pushed into sketchy situations at Diddy's events, supposedly with his father Will Smith's support. This story caught on even though there wasn't any solid proof linking Jaden's problems to Diddy's gatherings. Some people, though, say that the video of Jaden Smith that has been going around was actually made months before the claims about Diddy. Jaden wrote a touching message on his Instagram account on February 15th, 2023, thanking his fans and thinking about the trip they had been on together. I love my friends. I love our trips. In the video, Jaden talked about how close he is to his fans and said, This family is our fortress. The purpose of the video wasn't to show how upset Diddy was about the stories going around about him. It was just a sincere way for him to thank his fans. To set the record straight and stop spreading fake information, a community note has been added to Twitter posts about the accusations, making it clear that the claims about Will Smith, Jaden, and Diddy being involved with the parties are not true and are not supported by evidence. Despite this, people are still interested in these claims, and the rumors about Jaden's friendship with Diddy are still a big deal in the entertainment world. In a shocking turn of events, Jaden has made serious claims about his father's alleged secret relationship with Diddy, saying that he has found proof of an affair that was kept secret for years. It made waves in Hollywood when the shocking news came out, even more so because Will Smith has been one of the most beloved stars for a long time. There is a lot of talk in the media about these claims, which has led to a lot of gossip. People are looking closely at both Will and Diddy. Even though neither of them has said anything about it in public, Jaden's claims have cast a long cloud over their reputations and led to more talk about their personal lives and legacies. The incident has changed the story about Will Smith and Diddy, and the entertainment industry is still trying to figure out what it all means. But some people see it as just more rumors, while others see it as a big deal that shows how hard it is for people who are famous. The shocking claims made by Jaden have changed the subject to the complicated relationships in Hollywood, bringing up uncomfortable questions about trust, betrayal, and personal honesty. The story doesn't end here, though. There are new claims made about Willow and Jaden Smith. In October 2024, videos and posts on social media said that Willow and Jaden had told shocking things about their parents, including the claim that Will Smith had sold them to Diddy. A lot of people were shocked when the stories quickly spread on YouTube and TikTok. The rumors started with a Facebook post that said Willow Smith said her father helped her have a connection with Diddy that went beyond their professional relationship, which made her feel betrayed and used. This story spread quickly, getting people's attention and making them worry about the Smith family, which got worse when the U.S. searched his houses in Los Angeles and Miami in March 2024. As part of an investigation into trafficking by the Department of Homeland Security, there have been a lot of reports that Willow and Jaden Smith are connected to music mogul Diddy. This is especially true since Diddy has been in a lot of legal trouble lately. Diddy was arrested in September on major charges, such as conspiracy and trafficking people. Because these problems were so important, wild stories started to spread, like the idea that Diddy had bought Willow and Jaden. These reports are interesting because they have also brought up the fact that while Smith and Diddy had been friends since the late 1990s, before they broke up, both guys were famous around the same time. They have always respected each other. Even with all the problems, their relationship has stayed strong. 
many people are still wondering what their real relationship is like amidst all the drama. An event that became popular and shows the link between Will Smith and P. Diddy at a party in Miami in 2004. At an event known for being flashy and sexy, a BFF was served off the chest of a woman. Many people who went, including celebrities like Diana Ross and Bruce, weren't bothered by the show. The fact that Will Smith went to this fancy party with Diddy made their friendship even stronger. Diddy openly backed Will Smith after what happened at the 2022 Oscars, which made their friendship even stronger. After Will hit comic Chris Rock, Diddy said on stage at the Oscars that Will and Chris would work things out like family. In an interview in 2023, Diddy was asked about reports that Will and Jada were trying to get Jennifer Lopez to date them while he was dating her. When asked about the rumors, Diddy felt awkward for a moment. He rejected them and said they were crazy, stressing that their friendship, while complicated, has clear limits. Recent problems with the law for Diddy have made this friendship stronger. Lawsuits and criminal charges have been brought because of claims of wrongdoing and trafficking. Since these claims came to light in late 2023, the entertainment business has had to think about how it treats artists and workers. Diddy's image has been badly damaged by the lawsuits, including one from his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura resulting in the loss of several business chances and partnerships. This has made people wonder about the future of his friendships like the one he has with Will Smith as they both deal with how these legal fights affect their public image. Adult act Jonathan Adi said shocking things about Sean Diddy Combs and his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura when he was being questioned in 2018 after being arrested. He claimed that he had sexual encounters with Cassie while Diddy watched and called himself their personal slave. Audi said that these meetings happened about 15 times and involved drugs, mostly liquid cocaine. During these meetings, which he said were being filmed, he said Diddy would tell him what to do with Cassie. There are still claims being made against Diddy, mainly by Cassie in her latest lawsuit, which included some of the same things Adi said about forcing people to do things in parties full of drugs. Therefore, Diddy decided to step down as chairman of his cable TV network, Revolt, because of the growing pressure from his legal issues. People have had strong reactions, with many voicing their outrage over what's happening. Courtney Burgess, a key witness in the current investigation into Sean Diddy Combs, said that Diddy's late ex-partner Kim Porter gave him 11 flash drives not long before she died in 2018. He said these drives had at least eight adult tapes with Diddy and other famous people on them, with two or three of the other people being children at the time the tapes were made. Some people think that these minors might be Usher and Justin Bieber when they were just starting out. Burgess said that the celebrities in the tape seemed like they were victims, not aggressors, and that they looked like they were drunk during the meetings. It came out that Burgess testified after the Department of Homeland Security asked him to by subpoenaing him to talk to a grand jury. He was shocked when he was called in and said that the flash drives also had an unfinished draft of Porter's memoir, which supposedly talks about Diddy's abusive behavior over the years. His comments have caused a lot of worry about what's on the tapes and what they mean for Diddy's ongoing court problems. With his 55th birthday coming up on November 4th, 2024, Sean Diddy Combs called his kids from jail. People close to him, like Justin Dior Combs and his two-year-old daughter Love, sang him happy birthday during the emotional talk. Diddy told all of his kids how proud he was of them and thanked them for being there for him during this tough time. He told them he was looking forward to seeing them soon and praised their bravery for being there for him. But before this emotional call, someone got a hold of another call. Diddy and his son talking to each other. Diddy was heard telling his son Christian to throw away the pizza boxes during this call. Some people think this might be a coded message pointing to something darker and more sinister. They think Diddy might have been telling his son to get rid of proof. That wasn't all, though. Diddy also asked his son if Jay-Z had called him. Christian told him that Jay-Z hadn't reached out. Diddy's voice showed that he was mad at his longtime friend for not being there for him when he needed help. Diddy was heard telling his son, let them have their little fun for now as the talk went on. He was teasing about a bigger plan that was coming together to reveal those who had betrayed him. A number of artists have been said to have been lied to, to have been at one of Sean Diddy Combs' famous parties, which are sometimes called white parties. A few names that come up are Leonardo DiCaprio and Ashton Kutcher. People are paying more attention to these events because Diddy is being accused of sexual misbehavior and trafficking. The venues are fancy and only a few people are invited. People have noticed that Leonardo DiCaprio was at these parties. His reps have said that he was just starting out in his job at the time, and that he has since distanced himself from such things. Ashton Kutcher has also talked about his friendship with Diddy in the past, calling it bizarre, and bringing up strange memories of the parties they went to together. The actor has even avoided talking about the details in more recent interviews. As more witnesses come forward, some people think that these celebrities may now be afraid that they could be linked to Diddy's illegal actions. 
At the same time, new video footage of Diddy and Barron Trump has led to more rumors. People are wondering about their connection and what the video could mean for how they are seen by the public. In other news, both Barron Trump and Chance Combs, Diddy's daughter, have started studying at New York University, NYU. Barron Trump is in the Stern School of Business, and Chance is in the Tisch School of the Arts. People are interested in them because they are both at the prestigious school at the same time. This is especially true since Diddy is still facing legal problems. People are interested in their routes at NYU, which is made even more interesting by the fact that they come from famous families. People are surprised that he chose to go to the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School instead of following in his family's practice. This shows that he wants to make his own name for himself, different from his father, Donald Trump. Chance Combs, Diddy's daughter, is also making a name for herself at NYU's elite Tisch School of the Arts. Tisch, which is known for focusing on creation in theater and film, is a great match for Chance, who has shown a strong love for the arts. Her father has been a big supporter of hers throughout her trip, even though his ongoing legal problems make her accomplishments seem less important. The fact that they are both going to NYU at the same time has gotten a lot of attention, especially since they are both the children of famous people. People are interested in them because of the things they've both been through and the times they started school. Meanwhile, Diddy is still in court, and Trump just won the election. This makes people wonder how their family ties might affect Diddy's case in the future. 